Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nidhi, a corporate trainer, NLP coach and a sound therapist. Until recently, I used to be a proud Singapore girl. Well, yes, I used to fly with Singapore Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world. I flew with the airline for 10 years, five years as a non-ranking crew, got promoted to a leading stewardess, was there in that role for another five years. I also used to be a trainer with Singapore Airlines for almost about six years. And here I am today to share my experiences, my tips with all of you, because what better use can I have with all that experience but to share it with you guys. And if being a cabin crew is your dream, I can help you to make it into a reality. You're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. If you have asked me to do a makeup tutorial for the day of the interview and how to present yourself for the day of the interview, I couldn't find a male candidate to do one on, so I won't be able to share the tutorial with you, but definitely gonna talk about a few do's and don'ts that's gonna help you a long way for that interview. So let's get going. This is not a fashion show this is not even a movie premiere so please remember that the makeup that you will be doing should not just only be presentable from an interview point of view because uh, the interviewers do want to look at who you are your natural self whatever products that you use please before you use them remember to clean your face thoroughly and also apply your proper skincare routine and don't just walk into an interview with your skin flaking remember it's going to be a long day uh, even if it's not the final interview day and you're going for those preliminary rounds uh, you want to make sure that your skin still glows and it's not dampened uh, because of the fact that you've been through the whole day and the tiredness gets to show on your face Remember guys, uh, whatever makeup that you do, uh, even for my male candidate friends, if you're using a little bit of makeup to, you know, touch, uh, touch up that scar or uh, get rid of that uneven skin tone that you might have, please get the right shade of foundation because you do not want to look too white or too dark. You just want to look the natural self. So get the right products, uh, even for male candidates, if you're using a little bit of makeup to touch up your scar, do it in such a way that again, it looks like a natural extension of you. Remember guys, you won't be able to carry your makeup kit throughout the day with you, uh, especially for my male candidate friends. Whatever you do, you do it right at home itself because when you go to that interview uh, hall or interview place, you wouldn't have the time and the venue to be able to like do the whole makeup over and over again. If you're, uh, you know, using a lot of gel, if you're using a little bit of makeup, remember to carry things that you might need to touch up throughout the day. Uh, when you're using the gel or the hairspray, remember to not use a lot of it because again, remember it's going to be a long day and uh, if you're going to use a lot of hairspray and gel, your hair is going to start flaking, it's going to become really rigid and stiff and you don't want to do that. You again want to look a natural extension of yourself. Uh, do get rid of all the unwanted hair on your face, shape your moustache, if you have a long sideburns, get rid of them, or even if you have exaggerated beard, get rid of it, because remember, uh, you have to look professional, you have to look like a cabin crew. That's the first step for any interviewer to get interested in getting to know the fact that you can be a potential cabin crew. So always, always remember, whatever you do, you have to look like a cabin crew. So when you're going for an airline's interview, do go through the website 
website and take a look as to how uh, their cabin crew usually dresses up that can give you a little bit of uh, a hint as to what kind of personality uh, people are looking for or the interviewers are looking for and then you can actually do your grooming and your makeup uh, based on that that's a little small tip that I wanted to share with you guys as well all the very best guys I really hope that this was helpful to you and uh, please do like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel so until next time see you Good take me. care love stay you guys